The ISL season of 2021-22 is almost coming nearby, depending when you're watching this video. But with all the six signings done and most of the major signings completed, let us talk about Mumbai City's three major weaknesses in the upcoming season. Hey guys, welcome back to ATZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another Mumbai City video. And in today's video, we are talking about, of course, the 2021-22 season of Mumbai City, but not the good parts, the bad parts, the three big weaknesses that Mumbai City are going to suffer from in this upcoming season. So stay tuned for this entire video. If you're new to the channel, please hit a subscribe button and comment your thoughts, what you feel are the weaknesses for Mumbai City this season in the comments down below. At number one, we have, of course, no foreign center back. Now, we, you may say that Mutada Fall is a center back and why am I saying no other foreign center back? Yes, of course, it's because we do not have a second center back you know foreign center back or as good as Murtada Fall. Now Murtada Fall is a very good defender I tell you but let us assume a situation where he gets injured or he gets booked a red card then what are you going to expect from him in the next match okay we cannot replace him with Jahu of course Jahu can play center I mean defensive uh, defender but center defensive midfield is his great spot and just putting him anywhere won't you know do anything good so if Mutada fall, assume it's the ACL, as you know Mumbai City is there in the Champions League this time. So uh, assume uh, Mumbai City uh, get a, you know Mutada fall gets an injury, then what are you going to do? Okay, how are you going to replace him? Okay, that will be one of the major questions that uh, will arise for Mumbai City. Assume Mutada fall gets booked. Okay, who are you going to put back at a centre back? We need an experienced centre back. And Murtada Paul is what we have. Rahul Beke can be an option, but then that would put Mehtab Singh or Valpuya two inexperienced centre backs at the other side, which can be very risky if we consider ACL. At number two, we have a bad Asian quota player. Now, don't get me wrong, Brad Inman is a very good player on his day, but when you consider the fact that Mumbai City are going to play ACL the next, I mean this season, and you are keeping Brad as a uh, Asian quota, things don't look good. First of all, he's not completely a proven, uh, you know, player. Okay, so that puts him a very good big question. Secondly, he's not going to be playing his main position, that is center attacking midfield for the team, as uh, you know, since Jackie Chan's departure to East Bengal, he is mostly going to play at that position. So that puts big questions on Mumbai City that is he going to perform well because if he flops we are going to be playing one player down for ACL and that will be a huge disadvantage because if he doesn't you know play how we expect him to play and his performance is down will be like playing a player down and of course we cannot replace him because we do not have another Asian quota player okay we have two Brazilians of course we have uh, Moroccans, uh, Senegalese, but I don't think we'll have anyone who is an Asian quota. So, a um, way of improving this is let's see that the half season how bad plays. Assume he plays well, then we can consider putting him till in X, you know, for the ACL. Or else, I would suggest we, uh, you know, tear up his contract or use him in a swap deal uh, with another Asian player if possible. Uh, Brad is a good player, I would like to say. I'm not any hate on Brad, but he's not experienced enough or not that good as you expect for ACL football. And at finally, at number three, we have the inexperience for Asian Champions League. Now, of course, playing in Asian Champions League is a very few opportunity Mumbai, I mean, any fo Indian footballers get. But even if we consider our foreign players who are there, they have not played, you know, a huge role in Champions League or in any Asian League, as you can say, you know, the Continental League. And that could be a major factor that will affect their performance. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, there are some of them are called 
quality players some of them are great okay but you know the experience of playing in asian football is also very important fc goa also was very good okay but we cannot just say like we will perform as good as fc goa okay we need a little bit experience if we want to you know go about the group stage you know of course since goa has already played and you know was able to play a good performance in the uh, group stage mumbai city have to at least you know qualify above the group stage and that should be our goal for the upcoming season uh, i do not want mumbai city like just you know playing for the heck of it i want us to play quality football and you need a little experience when it comes to quality football asojo lobeva is a great manager of course but can he you know find a way to put mumbai city in the champions league and you know like perform like a champions league team that will be the question the inexperience is going to hurt a little bit considering our opponents in that group are already you know season uh, champions league veterans so they have played already they know how things to go how to go on things i think uh, because we'll be already used to you know indian style football so the minute like look at atk mohan bagan okay nasaf told him away just by adding pace okay to their strategy same thing we don't want it to happen to mumbai hopefully everything goes well these are my three uh, weaknesses i feel mumbai city will face in the upcoming season what do you feel uh, are the other weaknesses mumbai city may face tell me in the comments down below if this video crosses a thousand views maybe i'll make a part 2 from the comments of what you all say assume someone comments something nice i will use it in an upcoming video thank you for watching this video guys hopefully you all enjoy do like share subscribe see you all in more exciting videos coming soon in the near future goodbye take care stay safe